Hey everybody. So this morning I'm going to show you how to um, take an email from someone, like this one from class here. Let me just click on that. I'm going to take this email and create a filter is what Google calls it. Uh, it's kind of akin to what Outlook maybe would have called a rule. So today what I want to do is set up Gmail to where every time class emails me from this email address, no reply at myschoolcast.com, every time they email me, I want it to automatically get labeled class. This would be very useful for a lot of reasons. One that I can think of is if a parent emails you frequently, you could automatically tag it and color code it so that you see it quickly in your inbox and you also have it always organized on your left side labels over here. So let me show you how to do that very quickly. So I'm looking at the email. I see that it's in my inbox. It has the inbox label by default. That's a good thing. I don't want it to stop being in my inbox necessarily. So what I'm gonna do is um, when I'm looking at this email, I could click labels and create a new label called class. But the problem is that's only going to do it for this one email. And then it'll set up a label for future use if I want. But I'm looking to create essentially a rule or what Gmail calls a filter. So I'll click on the, the word more here at the top of the email. And one of the options, lots of good options in here, but one of the options is filter messages like these. So I'm going to click filter messages like these and it's going to come up. It's going to say like what? and I'm saying yes, like from anything from no reply at myschoolcast.com. So I'll say create a filter with this search. And then it gives me a lot of options here. Um, I can skip the inbox, which in this case is not probably a good idea. I need to see these emails, just like you would need to see parent emails. You could mark it as red, you could start, etc. But in this case, what I wanna do is automatically apply the label. So now I have to tell it which label. You can see here that class is not one of the labels that I have set up yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on new label and I'm gonna type in class. If I wanted to, I could nest that label into a sub label. Uh, in this case, I want it to be one of my primary labels on the far left side, so I'm gonna hit create. Now, if I hit create filter right now, it's only gonna do this from this moment of time on. In this case, I want it to do it from now on, but I also want to do it retroactively across my entire uh, all mail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little button right here that says also apply filter to 42 matching messages. So I'll click that. Now when I hit create filter, it's going to take every email I've ever received from class and every email I ever will receive from class and automatically label it with a label called CLAS. Okay. That's done. I can see now that this email has two labels at the top. It has inbox and it also has class. Now over here on the far left side, I see class. I'm gonna click the drop down next to the class label and I'm going to label this a custom color. And in this case, I'm going to choose a dark green and I'm gonna hit apply. So now any email that shows up in my inbox from class is gonna get labeled with a dark green class label just like this. And then it's also going to be found very easily over here on the left side when I click on the class label. Hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email me at dmwit at Madison City. Thanks.